I'm not intimidated by any buyers. Cash is king, winner takes all. You don't know what you're going to win now. Today we're in Rancho Bernardo, California. This is a traditional suburban neighborhood. We're expecting to see uh, surfboards, San Diego locals. So, surfboards, extreme sports activities, uh, maybe some family gear, you know, pool table, maybe a little bit of bicycles and shit like that. So, all right, here's the rules of the sale. We're going to go inside, we're going to remove the lock. You're going to have five minutes to look around. You can't go inside, you can't open any boxes. It's an all cash sale today. Locker's gonna go to the person with the most money in their pockets. Now who's ready? Woo! Woo! Yeah! All right, let's go! All right, let's make some money today. for some good pieces today. I came with just my skateboard today because I'm after the real deal, the big money. Now, the young buck over there, he's got a cap for sure, and there's no way I'm gonna let Joey outbid me on this locker. Alright, now you can't go inside. You have five minutes to look around, no opening boxes. Got a big unit here, 30 by 20. You know, I'm the young gun in the mix, but, you know, I, I've seen that that pool table at auction. Who knows what it could go for? It would look great in the store. Yeah, that's... Huh. So that Led Zeppelin poster? Oh, yeah. I bet it's an original. We're not really looking to sell anything. We're looking for personal items today. Saw that Led Zeppelin poster. We're hoping it's an original. You look at that TV. That's pretty good right there. Dang, dude. You use that surfboard. I saw a lot of good items in there I could probably use around my store. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know if I see anything in here. See that wizard? Alright, I don't think Jack or JP saw this one, but there's a wizard gumball machine in the front, and I've seen these things go at auction for two, three thousand dollars, so my bidding's gonna be high on this one. Even if Jack gets involved late, I think I'm still gonna beat him on it. Yeah, they don't think it's worth that much, but this brand, who knows what he could go for at auction. <laughs> like, when Joe will just, like, talk a lot. Alright, so we'll start the bidding at, uh, 200, 200. Alright, we got 200 here, 200 here, 200 there. Uh, 300, we need 300, 300 where? 300 got it, Jack? Yep! Oh, we got 350, 350 here, 350. 400, 400, 400 where, 400 where, we got it there, 500, yep. 500 here, we got 500, 600 there, yep. 600, win, 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 500, 560, 607, 75 where, 75 where, we got 875, right here, right here, Bijan, alright, we got it, 900, yeah. 900, we got 900, Allie, 900, good call. 1200, we got Bijan the Young Gun, we got 1200 here, we got 1500, 1500, JP, 1500, we got 2000, we got 2000, Jack, 2000. 2,000 from Jack. We got Jack and Alley. 2,000. 2,100. We got 2,100 where? Bijan. Bijan. 200,000. 200. 3,200 down Bijan. Bijan this way. We got 3,500 Joey. Nice call Joey. We got 3,500. Where's 4,000? 4,000 where? Yep. John Paul. All right. We got 4,000. Looking for 4,250. 42,550. 42,000. 
42,000, Joey, all right, good call. 42,000, nobody's beaten it. 2,500, 42,000, we're going. Last and final call, sold your way, Joey. $42,000. Oh, all right, all right. Joey, man, I thought he won this locker at 42,000. It wasn't worth the trip to the dump for me. I'll let him have it. Yeah, turns out she didn't want anything. Don't care. We don't need it. We'll be back. Fucking Joey. Forty two thousand fucking dollars, man. That's what you're thinking. Oh. You know, I came here today with a lot of cash in my pocket. I wasn't walking home empty-handed again. So I'm going to start going through this locker and start seeing where I'm going to make my money back. <laughs> All right, you see here we got a vintage pool table. This is how they actually had them in the 1940s. Uh, nice pockets here. These are all original. Looks like we got a bit of a remodel on the bottom down here. but. All right, so we're already like 1700 in, and I barely even looked at this locker. I mean, $50 bill. $50 bill, $40 bill all day. This whole bag has got to be at least a grand. Uh, let's see here. We've got a couple of bicycles. Actually, a lot of bicycles. These will look great in my store. Uh, this is a Pugiot. This is actually, actually these are both the Pugiots. These are 1864 bicycles. You don't see a lot of these. This is actually a big part of the selling points for this unit. Uh, let's see here. we got Digital camera, $50 bill, a couple old tennis shoes, $20. Uh, this bicycle looks kind of like a piece of shit. We've got boxes and crates everywhere. You know, this is where you really, where the money's made. This is my favorite part. You know, you go through these boxes. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, man, this is what I'm in this business for. Yep, this is what I thought. This is a classic. Original baseball mitt, pro model, nylon stitch. This is one of the very first models that had nylon in it. Brand new. This is a sign of the times, you know. This is a really great sign for the rest of the unit. All right, but here's what I was really bidding on. You got the classic wizard gumball machine. It looks like they got bouncy balls. I don't know what they're there for. It's pretty much useless. This is where the real money is. You got original vinyl stickers here. Looks like the coin slot still works. There might even be a little foreign money in the bottom here. Uh, one thing we're missing is the lid. Could affect the value, but there should be some around. Looks like it's got a little paint on it. Could be actually good. I know a lot of people at auctions tend to like the custom paint, so this is definitely holding on to this one, putting this one in the car right now. Skateboard, bowling pin, surfboard, box, golf club, TV, poker table. Oh, well, hey, Joey. Looks like a piece of shit locker. Mind if I check out that poster? Beer. All right. Oh, yeah. It's a Broncadero. These are good posters, man. I want it. I'll sell it to you. Flip the coin right now. Yeah? Yep. How much you want? Heads, thousand dollars. Tails, fifteen hundred. Tails, it's a New Mexico quarter. Tails, bitch. Well, good poster. Worth it. And the preview. And. Yeah. You know, I like the rest of the unit. I'm going to have my boys come down with a truck and fill it up. But this is what the real money is at, the wizard. So we're actually going to take it down to the pawn shop and get it appraised. Money runs this town. I came down to the shop today to sell my uh, wizard gumball machine, complete with ammo. I'm looking for $3,000, but I'm willing to go as low as 2000 just to get it off my hands. Hey guys, just came in today to sell my wizard gumball machine. Oh, wizard. 
cool. Yeah, Man, this is beautiful. Look at the nickel plating. Yeah, all I paid was forty-two thousand in a storage locker. You have gumballs. Uh, Chumley, is that the only thing you think about? Candy. He brings in a gumball machine. You know, I mean. I mean, the money's not in the gumballs, though, well, right? Well, no, I mean, what'd you want for it? I need to get at least six thousand to break six. even on my locker. Six. So. Hey, ooh. No thanks. Give me an offer, man. I'm here to sell it, so. Well, yeah, well, you know. I mean, have you seen any of these before? Oh, what are the pizza place down the street? Trust me, I'm really interested, but at 6,000, there's no meat left on the bone. I mean, look at this. It isn't in the best of shape. I might have to take it, you know, over to Rick's down the street. You think it's really worth something here? Yeah, the but I mean, it's part it, of American history. It's going to take up, you know, space on my counters. I might have to take it to Rick, get it repainted, refinished. I don't know what this custom paints all about yeah. you know what all right yeah let, let's cut the crap man let, let me get my buddy down here he's here all week he runs in back and forth all right come in he's gonna show me what it's worth bottom line bring some of those gumballs nuts my name is jp the point i work over at sears but i'm also an antique gumball curator an expert on old-timey gumballs and gumball machines Hey, B, you call me in? Hey, JP, how's it going, man? Oh, it's going Good great. To see you. Great. What's your oh, great to see you, JP. Great. I got this uh, wizard gumball machine oh, here. Wizard. in a storage locker. A wizard. I, I only paid 42000 for the locker. This thing came out. I know it's worth something. Yeah. Wizards? Let me tell you a little about the uh, Gumball Wizard Company. They've been around since 1642. Oh, when so the it's first, old, huh? Oh, definitely old. The first gumballs I'm were made. I'm seeing dollar signs. You should be. You want no, he's saying six. I'm. There's no way. The, you know? the Wizard Gumball Machine is one of the most sought after gumball machines. I don't think it's going to be worth that much. Okay. The vinyl sticker is peeling off. Um, they got some custom paint. So. Well, the weight's there. It feels great. What you want to look for is on the back. It's got Made in China on it. Yeah, it's got the nickel plating. Yeah, it's got that right there. Things that concern me is... Uh, the wizards, so was this made by wizards? Absolutely. The wizards who came up with these machines, and we're talking 1600s, this was crazy shit back then. So we cut to the point. Did wizards make this one? Wizards. One of the things that concern me is the top's missing. That's what I'm there's saying. Sp there's supposed to be a top on there? Definitely increases or decreases the value depending. Now I know you got... So could it increase it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. JP, some of my concerns here happen to be the vinyl sticker, original vinyl stickers coming off, you know, there's some artwork in black graphite. So, I mean, a real wizard at auction? Retail, maybe? We're talking upwards of sixty to $150,000. See, I knew this was a good piece. But I knew it was a good piece. Hey, okay, slow, slow down. Don't get too excited yet. What's Unfortunately... What? There's a lot of red flags coming up. I noticed the vinyl's coming off. This artwork, I don't know. I don't know the author of this artwork here. This is coming off. This is not original wizarding. Sorry, I might have bad news for you there, buddy. This is definitely a reproduction. But what, what would you put a price on it right now so I can buy it and get on with my day? In your shop, if you were me, I'd put a sticker price of about $3.50. That's what I'm saying. It's more of a kid's novelty. So thanks for bringing me in. Maybe I can fill it up, charge him a quarter. That's just for, tragic. You want to check out your machine? That's fine. No, 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 hey, what, just, what, what do you want to do with it? I'm done. You guys don't know the true value of this wizard gumball machine. I'm going to take this online. I'm going to sell it for $6,000. Easy. You guys, Joe, come over. Jeez. I don't need your... Another day at uh, my pawn shop. <laughs>
They were in Rancho Bernardo, California. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my name is JP LaPointe. I work over at the Gumball Factory and I'm an expert in old timey gumball machines. Did you say the Gumball Factory? <laughs> <laughs> I work over at Sears and I'm looking at the